becoming a morning person isn't as easy as it seems here on YouTube, so I'm showing you guys how to actually wake up early without feeling tired and set yourself up for success as I wake up at 5 a.m. almost every day of the week. Recording to you live. The night before we wake up at 5 a.m., this video is going to be showing you guys me waking up at 5 a.m. and showing you guys a little bit of my morning routine and kind of sharing how I'm able to do that, but we're starting out at night because it's all about what you do the night before to set yourself up for success. Also, my hair is a mess. Starting out, I have my water next to my bed. And I just took out my gym clothes for tomorrow and I put this right next to my bed on my desk so that when I get up, I don't have to go searching in the closet because number one, I'm tired. Number two, I'm always usually really cold in the mornings and it's not a vibe. So get yourself a nice cozy gym outfit. I don't know about you, but I wear comfy clothes to the gym, like a hoodie. I'm not just going to wear a little top and call it a day because no. So got my little pile ready and then I just do something like this and next to my bed I have my Alex drawers and in here I just keep socks so as soon as I get up I do this before anything so even if you don't have a drawer just obviously take out socks as well and if you wear socks to bed you're canceled I'm kidding my brother wears socks to bed it's just like weird I'm sorry I just don't see don't see the tea behind that my phone is always on the night shift mode once it becomes like the evening time just to protect my eyes and it's on the focus setting for my night routine so that i can just really stay off my phone i just finished watching a show with my brother and now my favorite part of my night is my unwinding i just recently got the hatch restore alarm clock and this is it i set it up it's the easiest thing to set up and i've been loving it so far i feel like i fall asleep so fast and you pretty much customize everything through your app that you set it up with and you pretty much set up like your unwinding routine then you set up your sleep routine and then you set up your morning routine so once it's already set up all I do is click the button well let me turn off the light the light might get weird but I just hit the button here I don't know if you saw number one so that's like this is the unwind setting so I have it set for 15 minutes to play this cute little music so I can do this usually like while I'm taking out my clothes and all that stuff but I wanted to share with you guys that stuff first so I usually put this on when I'm getting my room ready. There's a button in the back to show just so you can double check to make sure like what time your alarm is going to go off. So I just clicked it and you know we're all set. Also not to mention having this setting on when I'm doing a night meditation just focusing on my breathing and also my journaling. So unwind. So when I'm done with my unwinding well after the 15 minutes have passed or I could just click and move on and I have the red light. And I picked Calm Ocean as my little sleep sound to sleep to. And I have a timer for like 25 minutes, so it just shuts off and I'm asleep. I haven't, fingers crossed, had trouble sleeping ever since I started using this. Honestly, I don't know what the tea is, but it's working. Sleep is the very first step to being able to wake up early in the morning. And it is a little later than I'm supposed to be, but I did take a nap today, so I wasn't finding myself as tired. And when I force myself to sleep, it just is never good. But sleep is the most important thing. Having a nice night routine to set you up for the morning time so that you have no excuses to get up is also the key to waking up early at 5 a.m. And, you know, like I said before, self-discipline over motivation always. Even if I wake up tired, me and my boyfriend, we hold each other accountable. And that way, since this is my alarm, you guys will see what I wake up to in the morning. But it's great because then I won't be going on my phone at all in the morning. Let's get this workout done. It's leg day and of course I always stretch before this. I forgot to record but I do normal stretching, stretching out obviously my lower part of my body. You want to stretch out the actual body part that you're working out. And I like starting out with the abductor and adductor because I feel like they really engage your glutes a lot and it kind of like is a warm-up for them as well. It is a workout in a sense but I like to use it also as a little warm-up. So if you want to engage your glutes and get them activated before you do squats or any other workout then I highly recommend doing these and I do go pretty heavy I would say but like I said it is a workout in itself but preps me for my after and after these we hop into hack squats which is a new machine that we have at my gym and already there's like a resistance of, i think like 105 pounds or something so it really is no joke and it takes me it took me a while to even add weight which you guys will see i did add like five pounds today or 10 pounds because it is pretty challenging and the hardest part for me was getting my footing right because it just felt so awkward i just didn't feel comfortable doing it and obviously it was gonna hurt because i never we don't squat often so doing these types of squats was a challenge so after consistently you know doing these on our like days i finally am able to add weight now and like i said getting my footing down was probably the biggest part about it and just getting my body used to it and just figuring out like it is kind of like trial and error and these make you sore as freak for like three days like i literally couldn't even sit to use the bathroom sometimes when we first started these but i'm getting better as you see here i was kind of happy because i was like oh it doesn't feel that bad 
So as you can see here, I added a little bit of weight and also a thing with squatting in general would always bother my knees and I found these to be a little bit less tough on my knees. I try to always make sure my form is good. I'm like always constantly watching my legs because I feel like anything will start hurting them. So I try to be careful, but I will not do regular squats ever probably this is the farthest with squats i will go but i like them yeah. and next we hop over to the hamstring curl machine which another thing with form here i found that like laying down would hurt my ribs but i was laying too low down so fixing my form and fixing the machine is always key you need to always make sure that you're catering it to your height and everything like that don't just hop onto machines and start working out because you're not gonna find any success doing that and then hopping into RDLs, so there's two different focuses when you do like the dumbbell RDLs. I've seen on TikTok too if you want it to be glute focused or you want it to be more hamstring focused. I feel like mine is like the perfect, not mix of both I would say, but it targets the under part of your glute I would say. And so I don't bend my knees that much and I kind of pretend that there's something behind me like an object and I'm pushing my glutes out to like hit that object so i used 30 pounds here and then i didn't record the last set but i changed to 35 and i did about like eight reps so that i can like progressively you know lift heavier when it comes to rdl so next time i'll probably start with 35s and then to end it off i did leg extensions for i don't know if you see my little quad muscle there i <laughs> know i'm kidding but these we ended off with and also calf raises which i forgot to show but i just do like kind of regular basic calf raises i love leaving the gym when it's nice and bright out already workout complete feels so good when you get that done because you never regret it and you also need to find your why and find your reason why you go because like i said motivation comes and goes but you still need to have that reason why you need to find that for yourself whether you just want to improve whatever it is like whatever your goals are you need to just continue having that and like kind of going up never stay at one goal like you always want to strive for improvements so you can continue to look forward to going to the gym and like i said making it a habit so that you wake up and you feel good and ready to go so for me i love getting my body moving and i want to feel strong and i want to tone my body and now with my new lifestyle and the way i eat and everything like that i just want to heal my body and getting in movement is good besides all that i just really enjoy it and i do look forward to the feeling feeling sore after because i'm like oh progress is coming like it just feels good i love going at 5 a.m because i feel like if i don't go at 5 and i go later on i feel like it's cutting into my work time and time goes fast like i'm not joking the days go by so fast and i feel like if i came home from the gym at 8 30 and then i have to shower i won't get started with breakfast coffee and then starting my work till almost like nine something ten o'clock and that's just too late for me to wrap my head around so get a good night's sleep wake up early, get it done so that you just start your normal work day as normal. I just got ready. I just threw on something simple. I actually have an appointment this morning, so something bummy, of course. I cannot wait for spring outfits because I'm tired of wearing sweatpants all the time, but like I also am not tired of it. Like I do love it. Anyways, this is from H&M. It's just a little crew neck and then these Holara flare yoga pants that have like the little crisscross top. Super flattering and it's so cute i'm also obsessed with my slippers i'll link them below they're from amazon i always fill this up obviously first things first i try to do like two or three of these a day but in the morning before i eat before i have coffee before anything i drink water and i don't have well i'm not gonna have coffee until i come back from my appointment today because it's just not gonna work out and i don't want to just rush to drink my coffee and leave i like to sip on it and it's not good to have it on an empty stomach and i also haven't been drinking it while i have my breakfast because i've just read some stuff and for balancing your cortisol levels and all that things it's just best to do it after a meal so that's what i've been doing and here is the morning lineup something that i've also been doing every morning before breakfast on an empty stomach is celery juice and i just got the suja brand they sell big bottles sometimes they don't have it and i have to get the other ones but just cold pressed celery juice cheers and after having it for a while i've already been doing that consistently for a bit you develop an acquired taste for it so it's really not terrible i would chug it faster but it's cold and i'm like pretty sensitive to cold things so i can't chug it that fast but next up i'm gonna be having a turmeric shot i don't do these every day but i just got this at trader joe's yesterday so let's take this and i do a lot of these things too to now heal my gut obviously i'm on like my new gluten-free diet and whatnot but i need to heal my gut as well because that is affected when the celiac goes untreated these are all great things to help heal my gut essentially 
cheers. This one's not bad at all. Alright, here is my newest fixation, my newest obsession. This is my new breakfast. Also, I always have my phone set to like these focus settings throughout the day, make them aesthetic so that, I don't know, I just love everyone, little things like this are aesthetic. It makes me feel good about it and, you know, I don't know, it's just like the little things. So I have it obviously set in my morning routine, do it when I'm working out. Obviously, when it's that early, I'm never really on my phone anyways. Like, what am I going to do at 5 a.m. on my phone? But setting these are really good to get you off your phone. And I find when you're waking up at 5 a.m., you want to make things like little tasks or little things achievable so that you feel good like i said taking out your clothes before bed so when you wake up it's just something quick that you're going to be doing because then in turn you're going to want to keep doing it because you're like okay i accomplished it this day and then you want to keep on hitting it every single day like okay i was able to get up today i completed my workout you know so cheers to that let's enjoy this breakfast Back from my appointment, I went to the P.O. box. So I've already gotten so many things done today just by waking up at 5 a.m. and getting up early. Literally makes me feel so good because I can get all these tasks done. And I like going to appointments early in the morning. I will always choose morning appointments. That is one thing. It just is already done. I just like to have the most time towards like the end of my morning slash full day to just get everything done and don't have to really worry about running errands and like taking time away from getting work done or content done. There's nothing like a nice hot latte when it's gloomy out. A hot latte always wins, but it's different. Before we sit, we gotta do our journaling. Usually I do this when I first wake up, but when I go to the gym, I usually do it when I get back. And I had my appointment and was kind of in a rush. Literally almost missed my appointment. You have to find things in your mornings as well, which I said earlier is like doing the simple yet achievable things to make you feel accomplished more and more. But also find things that you look forward to. So I love making my coffee. Obviously in the morning, I look forward to it. Literally when I go to sleep, I'm like, oh my God, I can't wait to make my coffee. And then journaling always makes me feel good. I'm like almost done with this journal. This is obviously great for writing down my affirmations, writing down my intentions, which keep me sane and grounded before I start the rest of my workday. just created my to-do list and I'm now gonna put it on my working focus setting and I just pulled up notion this template is linked down below from this girl that I found on TikTok. so her things will be linked down below um, she had it available to download and duplicate so I just did that and I'm gonna use the focus timer that she has here and get started this is a great way a great habit to get into is timing yourself and like timing your tasks or time blocking each task if you are somebody who gets distracted because this will keep you accountable so you can beat the timer and work in increments like that and then you can implement breaks and i have my stanley here obviously i have my coffee so i should not get distracted to get up to go get water i have everything that i need in my desk area with me obviously and we're just gonna get started for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I hope this motivates you or challenges you to try to wake up at 5 a.m. whether it's for a day, three days. I feel like three days is a great way to start. Three or like I know on TikTok or on YouTube you see like waking up for a week. You have to give your body time. Obviously after one day you're not gonna be like oh yeah this is great because you have to challenge yourself and it's about overcoming those days where you don't want to wake up early. So let yourself get a little challenge. Do it for three days and see how you like it, see if it makes a difference. I really wanted to show you guys my productive and like healthy habits, what I do in the mornings, because I wake up a lot of the times early throughout the week. The weekends, I give myself a break. If you're trying to become a morning person, this video will definitely help you. And leave a comment down below this emoji to let me know that you stayed to the end. Make sure you like, subscribe, and I'll see you all in my next video.